<laughs> Let's see, what will I learn today? Huh, we don't have earthquakes in space. Hey, Struck, earthquake, make a video. Tell me everything. Sorry, I dropped the camera. Wait, you want there to be an earthquake? Earthquakes sound fun. Cosmo, we need to talk. Earthquakes are a natural disaster. There are vibrations traveling through the surface of the Earth. Earthquakes can be caused by volcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts, or by the movement of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates? The Earth's surface is covered in tectonic plates. They fit together like a puzzle, but they're constantly pushing against each other. Ah, I get it. If there's too much friction, the plates become locked together and stop sliding. The plates keep pushing and pushing, and the energy builds up. When the energy builds up enough, it overcomes the friction. The plates suddenly move, and the energy released travels through the ground in short bursts called shock waves. The shock waves cause buildings to collapse, and people get hurt. Yeah, but not in a simulation. Let's see what would happen if there was the biggest earthquake ever and nobody has to get hurt. Cool. Simulation activated. Whoa! Earthquakes actually happen all the time. On Earth, there are about half a million earthquakes every year. The Richter scale measures how strong an earthquake is by how much energy it releases. Most earthquakes are microquakes and are so small that you can't even feel them. These earthquakes rate a three or less on the Richter scale. Very few earthquakes rate a seven or above on the Richter scale. Whoa, these are major earthquakes that cause lots of damage. Now, Let's simulate an earthquake that rates a magnitude 20 on the Richter scale. Let's get a closer look. Whoa! A magnitude 20 earthquake would release so much energy that the shock waves would destroy every building on Earth. Ah! Trigger volcanic eruptions? Eee! Cause massive tsunamis? And then, whoops, blow the Earth apart! Luckily, the movement of tectonic plates can't cause a magnitude 20 earthquake. There just isn't enough energy. The only thing that could cause a magnitude 20 earthquake would be a massive asteroid impact. Fortunately, people would see the asteroid coming and prepare. Whoa, thankfully that will never happen. But how can we stop regular earthquakes from destroying buildings? When earthquake shockwaves hit a building, they cause the walls, floors, columns, beams, and connectors to sh 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 shake. This movement puts stress on the building. If the supporting frame breaks, the whole structure collapses. But if a building uses materials like structural steel, wood, bamboo, and new types of plastic, the building bends without breaking. Proper design can increase a building's stability. If a structure is built on a flexible foundation made of steel and rubber, only the base m m m moves while the rest of the structure remains steady. Some skyscrapers have installed heavy pendulums that counter the swaying movement caused by an earthquake. As the building sways in one direction, the pendulum automatically sways in the opposite direction, which stabilizes the building. I feel safer already. Bye! Hmm, which chapter should I research next? Cosmo! Hey, 
everyone, Cosmo here. Did you know that we can predict earthquakes with a machine called a seismograph? What if you built your own seismograph? Step one, find an adult. Step two, gather your supplies. You'll need a plastic cup, tape, string, paper, scissors, a marker, and some coins. Step three, cut a piece of string 20 inches long. Tape the string on either side of the top of the cup. Step four, tape the marker to the side of the cup so that the tip of the marker is two inches lower than the bottom edge of the cup. This is your seismograph. Step five, add some coins to your seismograph to make it heavier. Step six, put a piece of paper on the table. Holding the string in the middle, hold the seismograph over the paper so that the tip of the marker just touches the paper. Step seven, gently shake the table to simulate an earthquake. See how your seismograph is recording the earthquake on the paper? Happy building, and I'll see you next time on What If Kids. Goodbye!